Hey guys, what's up? My name is Omar Zaki, and welcome to the behind the scenes of my latest Spider-Man parkour video. I definitely wanted there to be a story for this video, but it is a YouTube video, so I wanted to keep it pretty simple. So Spider-Man wakes up in the morning and he checks his phone, and he realizes that he has no plans that day, so he goes out to enjoy the day. And of course he's Spider-Man, so this involves running around, jumping, flipping off of things, and interacting with people around him. But halfway through, Spider-Man gets a text message from MJ reminding him of their date later that day, which obviously uh, Spider-Man has forgotten about and he has to get to her quickly before he misses their date. So a lot of people are probably wondering where I got this costume from, and I bought this costume online on Etsy, and of course I went with the newest version of the Spider-Man costume to celebrate the release of the new Spider-Man movie. I'll put a link in the description if people want to go find this costume online and perhaps order it for themselves. Uh, but before you do, I definitely want to let you know that the costume is not perfect. I did have to make a lot of changes to it in order to make it functional. First off, the vision in this costume is really terrible. Um, no offense, but it's really terrible. And I actually have changed this. It's a little bit better now, but when I got it, it was really bad because it came with these plastic lenses that fogged up really, really easily and really, really quickly on the inside. So it made it very, very difficult to, you know, see things, which is kind of important if you're gonna run around and jump and do flips off of stuff. You kind of want to be able to see. Three, two, one, action. Oh my. It actually got bad enough that I ended up taking those plastic lenses out completely and replacing them with this white mesh fabric. You can see this fabric here that I put inside the costume. So that was one of the changes that I had to make. It looks pretty solid. Second, the mask would not stay centered on my face. It kept wanting to, to drift upwards to go up and I kept having to, to pull the mask down to constantly readjust it to make sure that I could see out of it. And eventually Caitlin, my girlfriend, um, recommended getting some fashion tape, which is like double-sided tape that you put on your skin and then you essentially like press the mask up against your skin and you're kind of like taping the mask to your face on the inside uh, and that helped out a lot. Don't get me wrong, the costume looks really, really, really amazing, and the material is fantastic. Um, but, you know, I just had to make those small changes to make it functional, because these costumes are normally meant for just cosplay. If you haven't figured it out yet, Caitlin actually filmed this video, at least filmed like 99% of it. And you may actually recognize her because she also made a special appearance as MJ in this video. We filmed in Bradenton, Florida, and we also filmed in New Orleans. Three different cameras were used in this video. The intro was filmed on Caitlyn's uh, Canon T5i. That's what I'm filming on right now. But the majority of the video, um, all the action stuff, was filmed on my iPhone. It's a 6S Plus with a couple of GoPro Hero 5 shots here and there. I got that GoPro Hero 5 just a little bit ago and I really wanted to incorporate some GoPro footage into this so you really get to see exactly what Spider-Man would see while doing these kinds of things. There were a lot of great shots in this video that Caitlin and I planned ahead of time and worked out ahead of time. Um, but a few of the shots actually were totally unplanned and totally spontaneous. Uh, like there was a guy I was messing around with there with a, a kid that I saw outside in my Spider-Man costume, and this guy actually came over to me and asked me if I could pose on top of his truck, uh, which I thought was hilarious. But it, luckily, Caitlin was filming it, and it ended up being one of my favorite shots in the video. And then just throughout the process of filming, uh, we ran into a bunch of kids while I was in the Spider-Man costume and they absolutely loved seeing and meeting Spider-Man in real life. Yeah. 
Ready? Yep. So why? A lot of you guys are probably wondering why I would do something like this. And if you haven't guessed it already, um, I've been a huge, um, a huge fan of Spider-Man ever since I found out about him when I was a kid. And with, and I love doing these themed videos. If you guys know, I've done Power Rangers, I've done Ninjas, I've done all these kind, uh, all these types of things. So with the um, the Spider-Man movie coming out, I thought it would only be fitting to make a Spider-Man YouTube video. And when I have these passion projects of mine. Um, it, it forces me to, to step my game up and to work even harder than I normally do in my videos to put out something really high quality that I think people will enjoy and something that I can be really proud of. Well, that's it for these behind the scenes of my Spider-Man video. If you guys haven't seen the main video yet, go hop on over, check that video out, and I will see you guys next week with a new video. Take care.